What is up everybody? Jeff here for Beer Brand and I'm going to tell you my top five predictions of trends for this winter and next spring. So let's get to it. So the first thing that I've noticed and I'm kind of feeling out is straight up stubble, like unkempt stubble, just maybe like three days, uh, just a very good stubble. Now, this is not to be misinterpreted as the designer stubble, which was really popular in the 90s. That was very clean lines and clean everywhere. Like this is just kind of like, you honestly just didn't shave for three, four days, but you just kind of kept it there with your buzzer. Uh, it's just nice and tight and pretty clean actually, but uh, it is in the facial hair realm, so I wanted to start there. So the next one is it's like a rugged stubble. It's very rough and it's even more like a week to three weeks of growth without any care really. You kind of keep it there with your buzzers, but it's not super clean. It's just really like honestly shaggy. It, um, but it's, it's kind of cool look and it works really well if you dress it up really nicely. I think that uh, things are changing a bit and they're just really kind of going short so this stubble and just really rugged stubble is just like just getting really strong getting a lot of attention and um, becoming more of a uh, like a mainstream type of thing you see it on like in movies and red carpet and all that business so uh, keep an eye out for that one so the third one here in the realm of really short things and tight rugged stubble is the casual stash and this casual stash i'm seeing pop up everywhere it's like really really driving home like in movies and tv shows and everything and i really like it i think it's awesome i did it this summer i think it's really really cool one of my favorite new styles it's not really a beard stash it's not really a hipster stash it's not really a cop stash it is closest to the cop stash, but without shaving every single day and having it super clean, it's kind of just really like you had a cop stash and then your life fell apart a little bit and you, you kind of just didn't shave for a week. So it has that look and uh, it's really rugged and cool and I think it has this air of confidence to it and a kind of a I don't give a shit attitude. So I really like that one. That one's next in the list. I think that one's going to be probably the, the leading thing happening in movies and TV. It may not necessarily be as popular in, like, say, beard culture and beard world, but it is definitely a facial hair statement that's going to be, in my opinion, just kind of just cruising along for a little while. Number four in my list I am calling a basic beard. Basic beard is basically just one of those beards that happens after about five or six weeks of growth and it has never been cleaned up or trimmed it's all the same length and that's just where they like to keep it they don't consider it ever they just have a beard they don't do much with it i think this one is going to be really really popular um but yeah you'll start seeing this i'm thinking a lot more this spring but it is really popular it always has been but in particular, I find this a, I'm seeing it as like a movement, like everybody's going shorter and shorter and shorter. And this is kind of the shortest beard you can get while calling it a beard. And what is cool about this one is it's just simple. It's awesome. It's good. The final one in my list is a short beard. And this one is very similar to my minimalist beard, which you can see the video link below. But there's a little tweak on that. It's basically everything that a lot of people are doing with their full beards and really long beards, uh, but it's kind of more of this healthy balance in between very minimalist beard and um, let's just call it a full short long beard. I don't know how you want to put it, but there's this balance there where it's short, it's long enough where you can grab it. Like there's some, some length to it, so there's a couple things about this short beard that in particular I've noticed is uh, it's not pointy, like the edges aren't super edged out. Um, 
There's a few of those that really work for a lot of looks, like if you have a really tight fade and things like that. But I see this trend going towards a lot softer looks in men's fashion right now, um, but keeping this ruggedness. So there's this balance of masculine and kind of like the soft and you could say feminine qualities that have this really balanced versus this really over the top edgy, say like, remember like the Affliction t-shirts and stuff like that. And it's like, no, 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 chill out. And then it's kind of bringing up this other side, but it's just getting this really nice balance where it's this like kind of sweet spot. And I really like this short beard uh, phase that's going on. I've been doing it for a while now and I really like it. It's for my life, it's very like time tested. Like it, it's good all the time, every day. Yeah, so that's it. That's my predictions for beard trends of winter 2016, spring 2017, and maybe even a little bit of the summer with that, that casual stash. But I want to leave you with one, one thing that is like a trend that's happening that's worth paying attention to. It's not particularly my favorite style, but the super, super edged out, really, really hard barbershop tight fade thing that's happening. It's kind of going, I think, a, a lot in the other way. So, like I mentioned, like it being really rugged and edgy and raggedy beards and long and really manly, I feel like it kind of, that's going a little too far. Like it's too delicate and too primmed and there's a little bit of masculinity coming out of that, like, but I feel like that's a good thing that that's happening because that's been like kind of leading a lot of the summer and stuff. So I feel like since that ruggedness has come down so much, it's kind of been able to find that sweet spot with that short beard and these casual stash and these rugged things. I think they're like really awesome that it's happened. I don't think it's particularly something that I would do, but it is a trend that's been happening since like say early summer. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. Are you seeing any new trends? Um, is there anything that you're really into lately? I wanna know, I like to keep my pulse on this stuff. So write the comments below and yeah, <laughs> peace.